Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we will be looking at Nearby Share. It's a new functionality that you've got on the Chromebook. It's been around on Android for a while. It's quite good actually because I've recently changed from a Samsung phone um, to a Pixel phone. Now the Pixel phone uses USB Type C, where my Samsung phone, which I had for quite some time, used a, a micro USB. So I had a micro USB to a USB A, so I could connect it to my computer to transfer files, but I couldn't find a USB C to a USB A lead. Although I did eventually find one, I realised I did own one. However, it made me realise perhaps I should try and use the nearby share. Now you might think at first that it doesn't work because it, it it's. I think it could have been done a little bit better, but maybe that's just how it works. But I'll show you what I mean. So on here, if you, I'll just do that, sorry. Go down to your settings, click on settings there. And then it's either on here or click on connected devices. And as you can see, that's my old phone there. We don't need to worry about that. I, I do need to do that something later. But here we've got here, nearby share. And what you need to do is click on that. And when you click on that, click on that there. I'll open this up so we can see it. And device name Dan's Chromebox. I've already done this. So when you first go into Nearby Share, what it might ask you to do when you click on it, it will come bring up a dialog box where you need to put in your device name. I didn't have to put in Dan's Chromebox, it was automatically there. Whether I put it in a long time ago and I can't remember, I just don't know. But once you've done that and you've gone into the settings, you'll then get to something like this. And then you've got device visibility. So change visibility and change it to all contacts. Now you do need to bear in mind that anyone who you've got in your contacts will be able to share your data. So just bear that in mind. This is me just sharing data with my phone and my Chromebox, working on a Chromebook as, as well. So you click on all contacts and then you click done. And then here we've got visible to everyone. You'll be visible to everyone for five minutes. So you click on that and then it does that. Now this is where I first got a little bit confused because I was thinking, right, so I would expect now to see Dan's phone pop up here but it didn't, so I thought there was an error, but it isn't, it's just how it is. So then on my phone, I'm going to find nearby share. So you'd have to have an Android phone, or you could do it from a Chromebook. So you could, I could do it on my Acer Chromebook here to my Chromebox if I wanted to. You'd have to go into the same settings. But on here, I'm gonna to go to nearby share, click on that, and visible to nearby devices as Dan's phone. And that's visible on the screen here, visible to nearby devices, Dan's Chromebox. I got a bit confused thinking because of this, I would expect to have seen Dan's phone call here, but no, you don't need to worry about it. So what you do, you just leave that there now in the background and you open up your file explorer like that, for example. And if we go to downloads and here, if we have a look at this one here, that's an image I've used earlier for a video I've done. So what I'm going to do is right click on that, click on share, and then here you've got nearby share. Click on that, scan in nearby devices, and because I've set my phone, as you should be able to see, if I put it up there, that's got nearby share scanning. So I've got that set, I can put Dan's phone, click next, secure connection, and there we go, this is showing me that a device, Capture 15, is coming along, oh but well, I need to accept it on my phone, sorry, so I'll press accept, image successfully sent to Dan's iPhone, so that was really quick, and there we go, there's the image on my iPhone. 
So that's really, really good, really quick. And although I did find a USB-C lead in the end, it's it's good that that's so quick. It, it's very, very good. So let's do it the other way. So I'm going to show you the other way. Sorry if that's going out of focus. It shouldn't have done um, either way. So on this time, what I'll do is I will share. Just go back to share to make sure it's still open. No, it's gone off now. So visible to everyone for five minutes. Put that on there. So that's on. And then on my phone, I will go to nearby share. Click on that. So that's all fine. Then that's on my phone. So I should just be able to swipe that up and move away like that. Then go to my files. I've only just got this phone, so I'm quite new on it at the moment. Ask your friend to open the app and tap receive. Right, well, I'm not wanting to do that at the moment. I'm trying to. Yeah, I get that. That's fine. But what I need to do now is to go into images. Oh, sorry, this is me on my phone. I do apologize. Um, images. I've got a picture of my dog there. I'm going to put share. And I need to do nearby devices. Let's bring that back up, sorry. Nearby devices, that's fine. And then share. It's a bit different on your phone, I must admit. Share. And there we go, nearby. And if I click on nearby, so it's come on my phone there at the top, click on nearby and looking for nearby devices and it's found my Chrome box there underneath the picture. I don't know if you can see it, but this here is saying Dan's Chrome box. So I click on that and then it should ask us to accept it on here. There we go. Accept. Click on accept and that's it, it's done. Open folder and there's my picture of my dog from the phone, which is great, it's, re it's really good. Um, that is the picture I sent, so it, it, it's, I, I don't really understand the Android side of it yet because I've only just got this phone. I'm sure it's on my old phone as well, I'm, I'm sure it is. But yes, I think that's really good and that's how it works. So if you were, was confused, it's when you get to this here, don't expect things to pop up here like you would on Bluetooth. And that's what I was expecting for ages. Um, so it is a tad confusing a little bit. But yeah, I hope that video helped. That's how you use Nearby Share. I think once you've done the share, it does turn off automatically. But it turns off automatically after five minutes anyway. So there's nothing to worry about. And you could always go in there if you are extra vigilant and put in hidden until you want to do it again just in case i don't think you need to worry because until you press that and you have to accept it anyway so it's you know it's no big issue but yes i hope that video helps it's a new functionality having new functionality on the chromebook is always great if it did please like the video below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching